Hello, folks. Oh, hello, folks. This is Kinky. Uh, doing Let's Play Army Man. Man, C and Air. Uh, this is part three, I believe. Uh, since hard difficulty was a little bit too rough, well, I decided to go for an easier difficulty. And the game runs a little bit smoother because of it, too. Uh, now, I am using save states for this one level here, and that's just because it's a timed level. Uh, if the train crosses a certain point, you automatically lose, and uh, it's not really this jeep part of here or why I'm saving it. It's uh, after the jeep. You have to like really bum rush it and hurry, or you'll automatically lose, like I said. Uh, but beyond that, uh, I'm trying to say, you know, I'll keep uh, save states to a minimum. I'm playing this on a medium difficulty. Uh, the AI is a little nerfed, but uh, a little easier to handle, I suppose. Uh, but uh, pretty much this game is pretty fast paced. Uh, in this part alone, I've cleared I cleared a few decent levels. Uh, also, uh, unfortunately, there are there is a BGM to this one, uh, unlike the uh, other World at War game, and uh, I don't have any means or methods of stealing the background music. Uh, so if uh, somebody is nice enough to uh, rip the music for me, uh, I would happily host them up, or I'll just bug uh, Mirror Jet, I suppose. Uh, but I apologize for missing the music, and I will have a video up uh, showing some of the music, because I know that's what people like to hear. Anyway, this is the part right here, and it looks deceiving. First thing is you have to exit the Jeep. It won't automatically kick you out. Which kind of stinks that you can't just drive down the Jeep. Here's the second thing. You can't throw a grenade to destroy that bridge. And notice the train is already passing. So we've already ran out of time. So let's go ahead and try this again. Same as before. We'll just bum rush, pick up the hand grenades, and try to figure out a way to get down. Uh, this is one thing that I didn't like uh, with the World at War is they expect you to do things based on boundaries, but yet um, they give you no inclination at all where the boundaries are uh, to where you can cross down at. So timed time sequences like this are kind of hemmed. Uh, Luckily, they did fix this in Sarge's Heroes line. Uh, they made it a little bit more pl player friendly and uh, let people jump off stuff and climb on the stuff. And as you can see, we, it cut off there. So uh, evidently, we did find our way this time. But I don't know if I. But I don't think I'm going to make it. So I'm just going to do do this one last time. And like I said, I apologize in this video for the save state abuse, but it is it's a time section, and if you don't do it right, uh, you'll automatically lose, and then you have to replay the whole level again. So I didn't really see much purpose in it. Anyway, killing that tan uh, gives you some TNT. Uh, there's another different change there. They incorporated a little bit of this in World at War, but... Uh, this is where they actually let it out more. Is uh, in land, sea, and air, killing certain enemies sometimes will drop weapons, necessary weapons or weapons that aren't always necessary. So, uh, I mean, and it's like only for certain certain soldiers, uh, but ammo will drop and you can use them. Anyway. Uh, we've knocked out the train, so now we gotta go figure out what's on that train. That's so darn important. Once we secure that train, though, uh, well, well, they won't know, right? 
Uh, well, it says we have to get up to the train and destroy the cannon car. Uh, this is another one of those, if you accidentally destroy the one, wrong car, you'll uh, automatically lose situations. Meaning, uh, meaning if you accidentally throw a grenade the wrong way, or you accidentally bump into the wrong train car, or an enemy accidentally bazookas the train, uh, you could automatically lose, and then you have to do it all over again. Uh, on harder mode, uh, the and uh, the AI gets even more active than this. But but you see how the uh, team here is covering fire for each for each of their guys and uh, also advancing and trying to flank you and all that. It actually makes the game a little more enjoyable. It means that if you retreat, the enemies won't just stay put; they'll actually chase you. Uh, so you can put them in in ways that you can ambush them uh, in situations like that. Soldiers Heroes it was kind of more fixed point, and they didn't chase you, so you could always catch your breath and come at it from a different approach. But this time they can actually chase you, and that and that's a kudos for trying to uh, step up on their difficulty a bit. As you can see here, I got three guys charging, and auto aim failed to kill all three of them when it should have. Uh, you'll be seeing this sort of situation quite often where enemies will just be hunkering against natural terrain or something and then totally just uh, camp out and hide and make it where you have to kind of camp it or, or just wait for them to pop back up. Luckily they do give you a mobile, hit, mobile uh, med kit and there's auto aim acting up again. I guess they figured since the world at war, the auto aim was a little bit too strong. Since you can like hit enemies that are like barely on the screen, uh, they figured they'd give us like some sort of range to it. So maybe this was just kind of like in between games of the Sarge's Heroes line and the World at War line, where they were kind of trying to experiment with new things and see how it how it'd go. We'll go ahead and use this. Now, see, this is the part where I, right here where I'm talking about. Uh, as you come along here, you'll get bum rushed by like four or five riflemen uh, and a bazookaman. And uh, the bazookaman can hit that front of the train if you're not careful. Or it could hit the trees, or it could hit this or that. So you have to be really patient. Or just take them out quack. And then here's another part right here. Uh, remember, that is a cannon car. That means that uh, th that big old cannon there is active and can engage you like a tank. But uh, let's see if they give us any TNT to take it out with. Looks like no. And the tank is already firing. That's why it was rolling. As you can see there, luckily the tank keeps hitting the tree. But it, it does engage us, and it does hit the tree again right in front of us. So let's go ahead and book it to its blind spot, uh, which would be like near the front of the train. And we'll just hug along this tree line here. It's kind of its blind spot. It doesn't know where I'm at now. Or its ca main cannon can't turn that far, I mean. See? I'm, I can't be engaged by it anymore. Now remember, you can only take out the uh, cannon car here, so be careful when you're throwing your hand grenades. So we'll go ahead and back up and set our, cell, uh, set our line up. Pretty easy here. Just We'll just bump, use the bump, throw a couple of hand grenades there, and then we'll uh, just regular shoot the train, charge at it, and that killed that. And it looks like there were some tan plans on board of it. So it looks like they had some war plans they were trying to transfer and we intercepted it. And, and we even get a newspaper heading. <laughs> kind of cute. 
So of course, the game is land, sea, and air. So that's so we're gonna move on to the next element, which is air. Once the mission loads, anyway. Uh, it says Tanner attacking our airfield, so we have to defend it. As you can tell, some of the Tanner are already there. And as you can see in the background, a tan bomber has just deployed about five or six more tan. <laughs> uh, they got parachuted in and they're climbing over the fence and just pure bum rush. <laughs> I guess this is revenge on, since I took out their airfield. And as you can see here, there's uh, fuel trucks. There's, you know, fighter planes. There's a flammable thing. Let's see what's in Let's shoot that. Boom. That cleared out some of the tan force. We'll go ahead and go that. They, they bum rush you so much in hard difficulties, you can actually die quite quick to this. But luck, luckily, they do forgive you enough to give you a med kit. Which I'm kind of looking around for. I don't remember where it was. This is about as far as I've played. Uh, from here on, it's all blind. Uh, just, I mean, from this video on, it'll be all gameplay blind. So I won't know what's going on or anything. Uh, but uh, looks like they gave us a 50 cal here. And uh, it looks like we get to shoot some fighter planes. Uh, this might be just practice to let you uh, get used to it for a B-17 bomber moment. Kind of, it kind of gives me that feeling that they are trying it. I just have this sneaky suspicion there's going to be a B-17 bomber moment that I don't know. Uh, like, like I said, though, there is ambient stuff here going on. There's air raid siren uh, going on. There's background music going on. You can hear the fighter planes going around. Uh, definitely giving a war feel. And like I said, I apologize that I have no way of doing in-game recording. Because it is rather fun, fun playing it. But basically, they just come out at random directions, like before. Uh, Tan are kind of the white dots on the map, and they'll randomly bomb your airfield, too. As you notice here, we got some uh, green fighters coming up, so uh, we have to keep these fighters at bay while our fighters get up in the air. Now there's two of them already getting out and, go and taxiing the runway. Uh, if you can see the undercarriage of it, it looks like they have two, either, that's either two cannons or that's two, uh, bomb slots or something. I can't tell. If somebody wants to correct me, they can, uh, I know supposedly that's supposed to be like a Mustang or something. But, uh, like I said, uh, if you can kind of spot what's under it, uh, leave it in the commentary. Because I don't, because I know that they're dropping something, but I can't tell if that's cannon fire or if that's uh, bombs. See, so like right there, you know, you kind of notice those weird little thingies right under the wings. Could be the wheels. Don't know. But now our fighters got out, so we got we got to help the bombers get out now. And unfortunately, it looks like they parachuted some more tan to reinforce this tan line. How fun. Just to make it even more of a warm moment for you, they dropped in some more paratroopers on you. Once again, giving you a good war feel and possibly a good MMO uh, first-person shooter. Hint, hint. Uh, but <laughs> we'll go ahead and go on. Oh, looks like we got some remainders left. And there's a Huey over there. 
，人的行为。Then there's a mobile med kit and、uh, automatic rifle. Good, good, good. So now we got to make sure that the bomber planes aren't、uh, being demoed. If we take too long, they'll plant TNT and they'll start blowing the bombers up. Well, it looks like they got some reinforcements、uh, trying to flank me. Possibly could have parachuted in. I, I didn't see it. I didn't see him. Now we got just gotta finish off what's left. Unfortunately, this is an auto trigger thing. You have to set it in so much range for the enemies to trigger, so they jump you, which is kind of bad、uh, for this type of situation. But I can understand it. And we get into the bomber now, and、uh, call it an LP. So this is Kiki signing out.、Uh, thank you.